Hello young learners! Today, we're diving into the exciting world of measuring and sequencing events in chronological order. By the end of this video, you'll be experts in using words like before, after, next, first, and more, to describe the order of events. Let's get started! Before we jump into examples, let's define some important words. When we say before, we mean something happens earlier in time. After, means it occurs later. Next, indicates the event that follows. First, is the initial event, and last, is the final one. We'll also use words like today, yesterday, tomorrow, morning, afternoon, and evening, to give a time frame to our events. Let's start with an easy example. Imagine you wake up in the morning, have breakfast, and then go to school. Can you tell me the order of these events? That's right! First, you wake up, then you have breakfast, and finally, you go to school. Now, let's try something a bit trickier. Imagine you're playing in the park. Then you have lunch. And finally, you go home. Can you use our sequencing words to describe the order of these events? Excellent! You play in the park first then you have lunch, and finally, you go home. Alright, for our last example, let's take it up a notch, and connect it to the real world. Imagine you travel to a different country. First, you board a plane, then you spend some time exploring the new place, and finally, you return home. Can you use our sequencing words to describe the order of these events? Fantastic! You board the plane first, then you explore the new place, and finally, you return home. Well done! Today, we learned to measure and sequence events in chronological order, using words like before, after, next, and more. Remember, these words help us tell stories about what happened, and in what order. Now, you're ready to tackle more exciting challenges in mathematics. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time!